welcome back to my channel. Today I have a post review to share with you all. Um, this is my final finish for September, so I'm a little behind on the post reviews, but I try not to put up too many of them in a row. I know they can be probably a little boring and repetitive. Personally, I love post reviews, but I know that they're not everybody's cup of tea. Uh, I do like to share a post review for every kit that I complete. Uh, this is my 34th finish for the year, I believe, um, which is kind of crazy. I, I I know I've done a lot of kits, but I feel like that's such a big number. Kind of like, when did I get all these kits done? But in reality, I have been averaging about four kits a month, uh, which is kind of crazy but also I'm pretty proud of that uh, because I am working through my stash relatively quickly ish I still have a very large stash but we're getting there um so this is feline familiar uh this is a 51 by 51 I believe yes uh round drill from diamond art club and Krissa bug um also known as I believe her name is Christina Barton uh, is the artist's name. This one came out back in February, I want to say. It actually broke my no buy <laughs> because I saw this and I was like, yeah, I'm going to need that. And I had been hoping to get to it earlier in the year, but it also just kind of fit in September. Uh, I was focusing pretty heavily on the Festival of Witches, so this was a really fun kit. Um, I worked on it right up until the last day of September. It took me a little less than a week. Um, so I did finish it pretty quickly. It was quite color blocky. Um, but I just think that these two little kittens are the cutest. Um, and I think that the witch here is really adorable. So I did really enjoy working on this kit. Um, I have my notes off to the side here and the first thing I wrote down was OMG the kitties. <laughs> so clearly I have a favorite um, part of this painting and at the time um, this, I don't know, I kind of saw this as like me with a girl with her, her two super cute cats because this one just looks, they don't look like my cats but like their demeanor is similar. Um, so this run reminded me of Neville, which if you've been around my channel the last couple of weeks, you may or may not know that we lost him recently. He passed away, um, but he was like such a cuddly bean. And then Luna, our other cat, is just such a little mischievous <laughs> little thing. So this cat reminded me of her. Um, so I feel like, you know, this has a little bit of a special special meaning. Uh, I did work on it. I finished it before uh, Neville passed, but I still think it's super cute. Uh, hopefully you can see all the sparkle on these drills. Um, let's see, the other things I wrote down in my notes is lots of color blocking. I would say the most confetti areas were the cats. More so this cat than this one, um, but her skin tone was very color blocked. Um, her shirt and her backpack, everything. It was just a lot of uh, areas of the same color, which is great, especially when you're trying to finish um, multiple kits in a month. Uh, having a couple that are heavy on the color blocking helps kind of speed along how many you're able to do. Um, I also really enjoyed the color palette. I loved all the purples and the blues. Um, and I thought the background coloring was really cool, kind of a different uh, color palette than you're used to but it's like these shades of, of green so there's like an army green and then just kind of the gradient goes into a white so I really enjoyed working on that <sighs> something else I want to mention um that I have mentioned on the last couple of diamond art club post reviews that I've done is I feel like the adhesive or the poured glue has been subpar on my last few Diamond Art Club kits. I've talked to a couple of people who have felt the same, uh, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, however, I did just work on um, another Diamond Art Club, which was my second finish for October, so keep an eye out for that. 
and that one was better on the poured glue. So I don't know if there was just like a small run of kits that came out with subpar poured glue and then they solved the situation or I don't quite know because this hasn't been in my stash for like an extended period of time. It's been, uh, it came out earlier this year. So it, it's not like an older kit that's been sitting for a while. So I'm not quite sure where that uh, issue is coming up. But like I said, I did just finish another Diamond Art Club. It was a square. Was it a square? No, it was a round. Um, and I did feel like the adhesive was better on that one. So hopefully... Um, that's, we keep moving in that trend, <laughs> uh, but that's really the only thing about this kit that kind of, I don't want to say it like put me off because obviously I finished the kit, but it was just a little annoying. So, um, as far as the drills, I had plenty of every color. If I can get these open, I used my Harbor Freights. There were 50 colors, and I believe four of those were ABs. Uh, so this really pretty, like, taupey AB. We had the light purple, uh, a yellow, and a white. So not a lot of those left over. It's obviously not a very big image, so there weren't a lot of ABs charted anyway. Um, but everything else I had plenty of. I did not run out of any color. I felt like the trash drills were pretty good. Um, pretty standard for the newer round kits from Diamond Art Club. Lots of holes in the top and lots of hollowed out on the bottom drills. Um, that seems to be just the way that their rounds are now. Um, but for the size, I felt like this wasn't too bad. And like I said, I had plenty of every color, so I wasn't too concerned about the trash that I had. I did not make any changes to this kit. I thought it was beautiful as is. Um, the one concern that I had, and I'm pleasantly surprised to say that looking at it in the camera, I don't, it, it doesn't bother me, but this area of like from her mouth down to her chin is a very strange, <laughs> um, bright peach. I'm trying to remember what... Maybe it was this color. It's It kind of gives, is it this drill? No, I don't think it is. I can't remember what, what symbol it is, but it's a very strange, like bright, peachy, bordering on like a neon-ish type of color. Um, but obviously they were trying to depict the shadow that her hat would have on the upper part of her face. But when you look at it, in person it does look a little strange but the shading really comes off uh, in the camera so obviously with a diamond painting you're viewing it from a distance um, so it doesn't it doesn't read as kind of strange as it looks when you're just looking at it from the distance that I am uh, but other than that I was really happy with this kit I was happy I was able to finish it um, this was an unofficial festival of witches kit um, but I don't know. I was on the witches theme for September. I have so many witchy and Halloweeny kits, um, that I decided to focus on a festival of witches in September and drills and chills in October. Uh, so my next post review, probably in about a week or a week and a half will be my first kit for drills and chills. Um, so I loved that kit. I'm so excited to share my thoughts with you on that one. Um, but I think all I need to do, I think all that's left is to share my accessories. So my tray is from Painting with Diamonds UK. Um, I believe they went out of business. I could not find their Instagram page. Uh, I went to tag them and it, it wasn't there. So I'm assuming that they went out of business. Um, I never actually purchased from Painting with Diamonds. There was somebody a couple of years ago that was de-stashing in one of the Facebook groups and I picked up a couple to try. Not my favorite, but it's in my stash and I wanted to use it, so I did. And I thought it went really well with this pen. So this pen is from 802 Diamond, Diamond Painting Pens by Lisa. Uh, she has a Facebook group, I believe. 
um, and this is just an absolutely gorgeous pen. I was kind of, I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do for my accessories, but I felt like the neutrals in this pen just kind of worked. So there's gold leaf and there's some shimmer and just some really beautiful colors like gray, a rust, maybe like a black. I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. I love this pen. And I also tried one of my Everlasting Tip Curved Single Placers. And this is also an Everlasting Tips uh, 10 placer, maybe? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 placer. Uh, I do enjoy their tips. I do, however, find them to be very deep. So I feel like I use a lot of product in them. Um, but I did enjoy, I liked the curved placer. I may try to pick up some of their curved multi-placers in the future. For my putty, I used some of the Ribbit Stick It Putty from Crafts with Crashly. Uh, this is in the Pumpkin Ginger Streusel. I picked this up in a recent small shop purchase and I wanted to give it a go. I liked it quite a bit. She just released some Christmas scents, so I would like to pick up a couple of those, but pretty happy with this one. I'm on like a putty adventure. I'm on a putty journey. <laughs> so I'm trying out different things. Uh, my washi tape is from Amanda Michelle Designs, of course. I just loved the crystals, just kind of like the witchy vibes. Uh, my minder is from Galloway's Gallery. It's really pretty witch's hat with the pumpkins. And for my single placer, I used some of this yellow wax from Diamond Drills USA. Um, I liked it. It worked pretty well. I don't know that I noticed a difference between the yellow and the pink, um, but I had it. It was new. I wanted to try it, so I did. Uh, so yes, that is this kit, Feline Familiars. You are getting pretty much the entire... Uh, image in frame, but I will pop up a picture here of it from a little bit further so you can see everything at once. Uh, super cute. I hope that we see some more images coming from Chrissa Bug. It's been a bit if I am remembering that correctly, and I think her artwork is just so cute. Um, so yeah, let me know if you participated in Festival of Witches. It is still going through October to Halloween. Uh, and what kits you've been working on if you are participating. I hope you guys enjoyed today's post review and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!